MPC machine comes with a handy function which allows us to edit our pad notes once we've recorded them in. This can be useful for devices where latency is a big problem or if you simply just want to change the groove that you've laid down. To access this, hold down any pad followed by the record button. You will see a menu pop up. At the moment you can see that as we haven't recorded any notes in, there are no notes to edit. So let's record some notes in the sequencer. In this simple one bar pattern, there are four kick drums. If you'll notice though, kick number three is slightly out of timing than the rest. We can fix this. We need to start the editor by holding down the pad, in this case the kick drum, then tapping on the record button. This will open our editor. The editor will then show that we have four notes and that we're currently looking at number one. I'm going to break down what each of these sections mean. So as mentioned earlier, this is note number one of four. This basically tells us that we have four notes recorded on this pad and we're currently looking at number one. To move to the next note, we press the plus sign. To move back a note, we press the minus sign. The quantized value tells us how many positions we want to move this along per bar. At the moment, it's set to 116, which means there can be 16 positions in a bar. There are other quantized settings, but 1 over 16 is useful for most things, and it's more than adequate for what we're trying to do here. Position tells us what position we're going to move the note in. This is strongly related to the quantized value. So if quantize was set to 16, that means there can be a maximum of 16 positions per bar. If it was set to 1 over 4, that means there will be 4 positions per bar. It's worth experimenting with these two options to get the notes where you want them. Finally, in the bottom row, starting from left to right, keep original note means basically to revert all changes. So if you put the notes in a position you didn't like, click on keep original note means stick the original position where it was when you started the editor. Delete note basically means to delete that note. You can take it completely out of the recording. And commit means to keep the changes where you've made it, where you've moved the notes to. So that summarizes our note edit function. Right, so I'm gonna continue by using this note edit function to move that kick drum into place, where I think it should be. So I'm gonna to move to note number three, as that's where the error is. I'm going to move the position back now, one. And here's the difference. And that's it. Thank you for watching.